Hello guys and welcome back to Club Crib Gaming. We are here checking out something else. Uh, of course, let's see. Do, 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 do. Characters. All right. So we've looked into a lot of the different customs between other uh, customized fighters, like the me characters, of course, uh, brawler, swordsman, everything like that. Uh, but we've had some questions about like the actual equipment, what the equipment does. So you can actually see what the equipment does to people. So to show you a little bit better, we'll go with the character that already, you know, you might have played as. So you already know how fast they are, everything like that. Just to give you an idea, let's test out just a basic, uh, a basic little mech here. So look at his speed. His speed is really, it's pretty damn good. His speed is good. He's got good power. You can't really tell his defense here, but like, let's say a fully charged up smash. Does about 28. It's about 28% for fully charged up smash. So, what we can show you is here if you've been playing for a while, you have some different equipment. And I'll keep all of his specials the same right now just to kind of show the, uh, the difference specific to the equipment. I always label them by strength, makes it a lot easier to see. So, for example, if we want him to be ridiculously fast, then what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of items in the speed area, of course. And that's going to take down my attack a lot. So I'm like minus 94 attack, but my speed is up 200%. I believe that's what the, the, the number there means. So it's always going to be you reduce your attack to gain speed. You reduce your... Uh, speed to gain defense and you reduce your Wait, Am I saying that right? You you see it there it, Here, just just look at it. Hold on, Hold on. <laughs> Get rid of attack you get speed Yeah, you get rid of speed to get defense and you get rid of defense to get attack. That's that's exactly what I meant to say That's not what I said. So We'll test this out right now now look how much faster he is. It's ridiculous. It's like he has a bunny hood on at all times. I'm not a big fan of having my speed up, but if you're a really precise fighter, if you know how to control your characters really well, and especially if you're good at air game, I'd say speed would be ridiculously helpful for a character, for like a, a chic main. It would be really, really good. But look now, fully charged up smash is only doing 20% uh, damage. It's not a terrible trade-off, but let's look at it the other way around. Because you can't really tell defense in this one, but of course the defense would be uh, your knockback and your, you know, the damage that you take. So let's say instead, if we go, and I don't have too many offensive ones, we should have enough to show a little bit of a difference. Okay, so even just that little bit, three of them take the attack up to 127 and the defense down to minus 59. So again, you won't be able to tell the defense here, but fully charged up smash now does 49, which is ridiculous. It's a ton more. That's why I focus on attack. Especially for a fighter like Little Mac, if you can just put the damage out there and connect with it well, you can knock people out in just two or three smash attacks. So again, that's why I'm a big fan of this Big Mac setup. So I like him for a couple reasons here. Of course, he's awesome. He's my Little Mac. But he, oh, probably. But he has a an equipment for his boots and area. It doesn't really, he doesn't really have attack up anything like that. But I've mostly done this entire setup for the two. Uh, the two, if you see the stars on the right hand side there, uh, the two benefits. So with the benefit of life steal, when I do damage, it has a chance of giving me life back. And then the benefit of uh, the improved trade-off attack, that basically means that I'm going to start off with 30 damage right off the bat. But my hits are 
or no, 1.15 stronger. So with those two together, I start off with a little bit of damage, yeah, but I can easily gain it back. So really the middleweight boxing glove is kind of there just to offset uh, the rest that I've done there because the trade-off attack I took, my, or the uh, vampire roots took my attack down quite a bit. But if I had, let's see, if I had my um, percentage here, and I'll show you here in training in just a minute, even just that little bit changed it up to 36 damage. And that's just barely putting anything into your attack. So from what I've seen, putting everything into attack, I mean, I, I don't know what that would be because everyone has their own equipment. So uh, let's check out Shulk. Maybe I'll have some swords that are better for Shulk. Because I don't know if I've ever actually done a 200% attacker. Let's test it out here. Fully charge up smash does 25 together. Okay. And that's without any of uh, Shulk's buffs. This gets really complicated with Shulk because he has a ridiculous amount of... Okay, there we go. He has the different buffs and everything, so it's always different for him. So Shulk's a great character for this type of, uh, for any type of specialized setup, because you can always offset it with one of his actual Monado buffs, the neutral V. So that did 25 damage, and let's see what happens here. And that does 49, it's pretty much double. Wow, that's crazy. So his forward smash by itself is doing 51 damage. His dash attack by itself is doing 21, which is better than most people's smash attacks. And even just a normal backslash is doing 17. Just a punch by itself is just doing six. Right there, all together you have 22, it's ridiculous. So of course, this type of setup, they're gonna be really, really slow, or uh, for the attack when they're gonna be really, really weak, but it might be worth it. So I don't have too much here. Um, the Hyper Monado Arts with this one would make you ridiculously strong. So if we put that on, let's say Buster, and you have this setup of having almost 200% attack, or 200 points attack, it's, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be amazing. Backslash charge. Mighty air slash is really good. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this guy. We're gonna keep this set up. He's all attack. And let's see what happens here. Just really quick setup. Put in a crappy computer player. And we'll go for that guy. Club Crib Arena. Alright, so we have a Samus here. So, yeah, it's very helpful to have strength. Now let's say I put my uh, Buster on. Look at her, she's terrified. That was, that didn't even fully connect. That was one part of it. And that did 46. Come in. Buster's out right now. We gotta wait for that. Oh! Okay. Okay. Got lucky on that one, Samus. 
Alright, let's get Buster back here. Come here. Not the best stage in the world to test, but you get the idea. The benefits from having uh, everything stacked together, having really strong equipment, plus having uh, Monado arts that have even more trade-offs. Uh, they just compound on each other. So it's not like one and done. You can just keep adding it on and on and uh, make your character just be as strong or as fast or jump as high as you want because the speed also affects the height of your jump too. So while I'm not a big fan of being super fast, I don't like to have my speed too, too low because then you don't have any recovery other than your upbeat. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, anything else, feel free to comment, like, uh, subscribe, everything too. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching Club Crib Gaming.